Hey everyone, welcome to another fabulous game of Poxanora. Unfortunately, I'm doing this recording post, since, yeah, usually I just don't have the time to be able to monopolize the living room and do it as live. So this is a game I played after having some excellent tutelage from K Thanks, who basically demonstrated to me how you're supposed to play skeletons, and I'm going to be trying to put that down in this game. So I've started with the Tomb Lord, one of the key members of this fantastic faction, or at least for this battle group. Um, I'm not going to deny, I've been told, don't Highlander skeletons, you're going to have a bad time. I have Highlanded skeletons, because I do my level best. Right, so he's going to be moving up, and as I only have a Bone Slave to go to the bottom, I'm going to have a Bone Slave go to the bottom, who is currently illuminated. So, Aranexo seems to be playing a split battle group of Under Depths and Kathir Forest. So that's going to be an interesting mix. I'm never a big fan of coming across the KF battle groups. They seem to be a lot of hard work to play versus. So, um, the Tomb Lord is not going to win that fight as it stands, and he is too valuable for me to lose. So I'm going to have to come up with a plan to go into that top area. The Bone Slave, absolutely fine. Go in there, pick a fight, my son. You are welcome. So, let's see what he puts down and what his plan is. I think he's just deciding what champion is going down there. There we go. Goblin Gloombringer. So there's that bit. I'm, again, I'm just calculating now. I've got to make sure. Eight. I cannot reach the font and d deploy. So quite clearly, there's no choice in the matter. I've got to get going. Since there's no fret, no deploys, I'm pretty chill at this point. I think I'll just pass the turn with a stockpile on my Nora. See if there's any comments or anyone trying to communicate with me, for that is a good thing. I do enjoy interacting with people, and it's a good chance to learn, and sometimes people pass me a good battle group idea or things like that. So, Let's see what's coming up. We've got that Aurora Inspector getting closer. And... Oh, a Goblin Cropsick. Right, I think I have an opportunity here. So, let's see. I know that I want to get in the font, 100%. There's not much I can do, really, about stopping him. Well, if he's not going to come closer, I can get... I don't need to go in there. All I'm going to do is get this guy picked off. So, skeleton time. Let's get him down. Step forward. And now I've got someone who's actually there who can try and help me out. Right. Let's think. Ah, future me is looking at this with great sadness. Illuminated! Completely visible. Doesn't that just make you sad? Nothing going on. I think I was looking at the wrong chat, to be honest. I also like to occasionally check the combat log for anything. So he's coming in. Or should be. There's the crop sick getting closer and closer. Some goblin fevery, and he's stolen the initiative from the bone slave. <laughs> Feels bad. You're going for an attack. 
that's like painful. I haven't really got much else to do about it, so. And he punishes ranged. Fine. There comes our fantastic Aurora Inspector, just being a nuisance. Already decided how we're going to handle him. Let's see what else comes out of him. I'm just working out what is going to be the most effective things for me to do. So we've not got that much Nora value down here. There we go. Goblin King. In you go. Bone line down. It's just a guarantee we got something going. Drop that in. Move this guy up a bit. And I said, I'm less concerned about the Bone Slave. The Bone Slave can die happily, and I'm okay with that. You're fine where you are. And this is what I learned. Be aggressive. Be very, very aggressive. So I'm just trying to trigger and see if he's got his... Um, Deflect up. Unfortunately, he has chosen wisely. So he's just deflecting this blow. But this is me effectively being like, right, we're in. Trap. And you as well. Just be annoying. So now he's got a bunch of skeletons around him. I'm just making myself a nuisance. So the bottom area, we're not too worried about. Got the gloom finger being a nuisance. About all he can really do is attack and maybe run. And yeah, the bone mine doing its wondrous thing of dropping bones, which for skeletons are quite nice. So we're pretty chill. I'm just waiting to see what he does. Hello. Aha! I see what you've done. You've done the lance. Well, what you've done is gotten yourself killed. I tell you that now. There isn't anything else he's gonna do with that. That guy's stuck well and truly. In comes the crop sick. I'm just like, it's a pity, but I'll only get the one attack off here. I'm just debating if I'm going to play any spells, if there's anything worth me doing. Probably the banner is now becoming more and more of an urgent priority. We shall see. So what else is he up to? I'm just trying to spot. There's the banner. Okay. Literally undoes everything with that guy. Fine. Banner is a good play right now. Got the ability to attack, got the ability to go in there and drop a relic. Fine, I'm not deploying a skeleton right now. We are just going to see if we've got the kill. The answer is yes, but we have to use all of them. That is worth my time. Fantastic. You take that. 
we are happy. Fine, we are coming in to pick a fight. Got an essence train here. Got a bazaar. Let's see. So we get an attack here. We've got 45. 17 times 2 is only a little. Let's think. It's not even that anymore. It's 15 times 2. But I can. This is where we're going to see some sadness, I think. Oh no. This is fine. Pop. I thought I'd get a double tap, and I do not. So my idea here... And boy, does it make me sad when it doesn't work that way. Yep, you got to do that as well. There we go, 15 health. And if I drop this, he will be defiled. There we go. Now, my hope is that by defiling him, or at least I thought I was going to defile him, but no, I played something silly, that he wouldn't be able to do anything. And he wouldn't be able to start healing up. Oh dear. So currently we're in an okay situation in the top area of the font. If he wants to come in, there's a bunch of skeletons that are just going to jump in. And if the skeletons jump in, I'm happy with that. Yeah, go ahead, kill him. Here's more skeletons, and they've even blocked him off. Oof, wonderful. You can either go for that. And you won't get an attack, or you can go for the attack. Now it's all really up to him. He doesn't have a need to contest because I don't have the font yet. And I'm so pleased about that one. So close! I would have been so happy if it had just taken five more HP from someone. Then he would have just popped. That would have made me so happy. So he's got to make a choice. He's clearing. Okay. Didn't quite clear it off. Not a problem. I'm fine with that. Oop. He's come in. And he has stolen, yeah, the multi-attack. There we go. Someone was unstable. Oh, he sacrificed it. Well, that's fine. You run in, block that. You just get in front of him and engage. That's all we need to do. We're just getting in the way so he can't come in. Well, everyone else. Let's get involved. You take a couple of steps forward. What else can we do here? Yeah, you might as well get all the way. These are going to block. We're going to be super aggressive. I'm just like, no. We want you dead. My font, get out. And I'm just putting a shield on him, literally to say, you are not going to kill me. Back off. It's like, there you go, you've got choices now. Give me the font, effectively, or go elsewhere. We've got the little goblin coming in. 
We've got the crop sick, who's not doing so good, has no way into this font. That clears off one of my skeletons. The others are still unstable. There goes another skeleton down there. What's your choice, sir? Yep, he's gonna have his way. And he's got Deflect, so he's stolen Deflect from the Aurora Inspector. So he's got some simple choices, either he goes in hard, or he backs off. Okay. Still got the ability to attack him twice, which is good. Never mind, I am now blind. And I have put an equip on him, so there's nothing I can do about it. Fine. Well. This is where I'm wondering, do I have the ability to hit him? using loss of life, or would it miss, and yeah. So I'm genuinely debating if that would work. And the skeleton has decided his time is up in this world. Sad days. In the meantime, he's still got the ability to go and be a nuisance. But I need something to come and help out. So he's going to have the deflect. That's... Well, I'm going to run him a little away. Because I think it's just safer for him to get further back. In the meantime... Um, I think the skeleton reaper will do well. Let's bring him in. You guys, as I said, the entire aim is aggression. I'm largely fine. So we're just going to come in and be aggressive, just because we can. Four. Do that, and two attacks. There we go. Look at that damage drop. Mm, tasty. So he's largely okay. Fine. There you go, so we're just slowly pushing that crop sick back. So it's still going to take more. It comes down to that chained fay. Hello, what did he get now? A death nova. Because there's a second Goblin Cropsick. But at this point, I'm one font ahead. I'm in the way. There goes that guy. He runs away. Chances are, I think I should as well. He's now, he needs to have someone with him because I'm relying on that flanking. So, definitely time to get away. He's still going to be blind for a while, but I'm okay with it. If nothing comes too near, we're okay. So he's starting to creep forwards. So, we've got to continue the fight up here. Move away a little. Grab that just for a bit more health. You come in. Uh, it's not worth any form of mobilization right now. You retreat. 
He can't get into the font, so we're largely okay. But I do need to get some support in this bottom. So, one skeletal excavator. Just because that will lower and help everyone at this point in time. And the Tomb Lord is now back in action. So the real question is, what is he going to get up to on this turn? Because I'm feeling relatively comfortable at this point. I've secured the bottom font, by and large. We've got a Fey Dreamer, which isn't exactly the most threatening thing in the world. I'm just wondering, do I have enough for a Zulos? I'd like a Zulos. And what is he going to do down in this? Okay, stealing some life and pulling back a bit. That's fine. We have no issue with that whatsoever. Okay, we've just been hit with the lightning. Oh, not that, the magic bolt. this guy up a bit more. He's at least positioned so I can't hit him. But I can hit him with this anyway, so I will. Just so I can start saying, right, out. And mind shackle him. That way I know he's not going anywhere. <laughs> at least I would believe that he's not going anywhere. Yeah, paralyzed. So we're okay for the moment. Nothing he can do right now. That's fine. Just use up some AP because reasons. There we go. Doesn't that look nicer? Looks nicer when you dressed it up properly. Another bone line. No Paralyze. This makes me very sad. Right side, at least he probably can't kill anything of great value. And the Fey Dreamer isn't scary in the slightest to me. He's got so much Nora value in this bottom half of the map where he's not got anything going on in the top half. Because his Goblin King is just being pushed back. Which will then give me a two font advantage. So what is his plan? I'm just like, what is he doing? What is he thinking? Like, no one's got access, and for him to come in wouldn't be very good at all. No activity, I'm not missing anything, am I? Here we are. This guy's coming up. Fine. I imagine he's gonna kill the skeleton. Yes. 
14 damage needed, so he still needs to attack another two times to get rid of him. Still standing. That's fine by me. Ooh. Why, thank you, sir. Ah, Catharsis Bloom, so he's giving me this font now. That works for me. Just seeing if it's worth it. I would say so. He's moving across to get the little bone mines. Let's sneak him in as well. And by sneak, I mean just run him down. I definitely need the bone trap. So I've got some choices to make. Yeah, let's go in. We're just going to be aggressive again. Do the charge. That's worked. That kind of sucks, because this means this is going to hurt, because he's blocking it. But it went the right way, so let's exert again. And... damn it. So I'm really debating... Bone Trap is a necessity, and I do have the Nora. Well, hello Zulos. Yeah, that's going to be safe, isn't it? We might as well get rid of the deflect. So now you've got no protection. You've not got a very good place to go. That's fine. And this Aurora Inspector is under pressure too. So I'm starting to take a comfortable lead at this point. I'm hoping that the Fey Dreamer comes for the relic. Really, he knows that there's a stealth relic because of the font being contested. Here's the crop sick. Okay. Still not too bad. I think he's going to be fine. 33 health. He should be okay. 49 with illuminated going away. So just seeing what can we do next. The crazy thing is the fact that, for me, these champions just come back. Ooh. Ow. He's not got any health left. He's going, or getting a beating. There you go. He's in the way now, so you've just gotten in more trouble because you can't escape. That's the Lurper. But I think that's fine. We've got the crop sick gone. But I now do have a concern. Because that font's starting to get open. And he's managed to kill that. But he's had to use everything, so that's pretty much okay at this point, in all honesty. He's not even retaken the font for some strange reason. Oh, this is a good opportunity. Tap. That'll help soften them up. This should get the kill. That's fine. 
I'm just having a think and I'm like, I don't need to take the font back or from him. What I need to do is punish him further. Go Goblin! And with that unit being the only one there, I'm largely okay. We might as well get rid of that crop sick. Still painful, but it hurts him too. And the bone slave is just useful to say, you are not coming to my font. It's my font, you're staying where you are. So the top half of the map is very much becoming mine. I'm feeling more and more secure. This Fey Dreamer is running out of things it can do. So everything I care about now is just going on in the bottom half of the map. Let's see what he's got next, what his next plan is. Not a huge amount you're going to be able to do here, buddy. That Fey Dreamer's got to go. Yep, and he's retreating. It's not even in the font, he's just max retreat. Which is fine. So at this point, I'm just going, okay, Nora Globes, let's collect them and regroup. Another hit, another hit. He's still standing though. Does that have another attack? If he lives, fantastic. She's retreating, fantastic. So that makes this play much easier. You collect that. Move out the way. You take the font. And you take the globe. Perfect, right, you come in and engage. Doesn't matter who attacks, really because they both do the same damage. Nine health, I kind of messed that up. I could have had the Nora Globe if I wanted it. Fine. Still, either way, he's got no fonts left and I'm able to start approaching Toll Taker. And just in case you consider trying to grab that Nora Globe. This is just me going, no, just in case. Fine, you got him. You want it? Well, hi. We might as well rock up. So the question here is, are you going to contest? At this point, I just need to keep deploying. So the whole aim of my game at this point in time is just to keep this up. I just need spam deployments like no tomorrow. So I couldn't care less, so I'm just going to keep deploying. And I need to get rid of that relic. Ooh. So I'm guessing 
Must have gotten the magic ability. And Death Nova skeletons. Very well. You... I know that I want a skeleton, so... You start coming up. And we're just gonna start picking a fight. We're here to just be aggressive, to be fair. Just wanna start closing this game out. Yep, hit, hit, hit. I think that guy is pretty much dead. Let's tap this as well. There goes the deflect, hitting the uh, unit behind there. You finish him off. Bit of pain for everyone. Skeletons everywhere. You step forward. You... Can you hit it? Yeah, let's get rid of that. That should be fine. <coughs> so we're just bringing in all sorts now. Everyone's coming in. Wonderful. Yeah, another shrine exertion is never bad. Fine. And completely waste it. Because <laughs> I just want to keep that guy safe as well. So he can be a nuisance. Now Zulos needs to make his way. skeletons there. And it's quite fun to think that that Tomb Lord has survived since the start of this game. And I think at this point he's probably given up. I think realistically, he's now just starting to take his time. Let's see. Oh, here comes an attack. So if he's coming in... Looks like he's just hit the bone slave, and he's come in to annoy. Just to be annoying, I guess, with his skeleton warrior down there. I'm impressed that this chain fay has lived as long as it truly has. Okay. those skeletons. Alright, you. Zulos make a lot of movement. You start coming in. You start coming in. <laughs> Just a case of let's keep deploying. You go in and engage. And that's all of them. Um. This is just 
me being me, I've decided to be basically over the top. Like, look, I can come in and why the hell? Someone did not notice blockade. There she goes. You take a step back, hit that guy anyway. You might as well just come running in, be a nuisance of yourself. Take that, because I don't want him getting the Nora Globe. You finish that. Yeah, kill him. Go here. And he's set up for the next turn. Got Zulos, got everyone pretty much on the doorstep. So, to dispense with the length of this video, just because it goes on for another 15 minutes of me wrapping up from this situation, I think it's safe to say you can see that it has been won. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.